At the stroke of midnight on New Year's, California will become the eighth state to legalize recreational marijuana. But questions remain about the new law and what it means for buyers and sellers of the drug. Carter Evans has more from Los Angeles. As holder of the very first state license to sell recreational marijuana, Tory Holistics, a medical pot shop in San Diego, is scrambling to implement a host of new rules and regulations so it can sell to the public by New Year's Day. So you've had to create new packaging. We did. Our packaging is completely changing so that it is not see-through. Marketing director Ruthie Edelson is also preparing for product changes and new dosing requirements for marijuana's active ingredient, THC. Something like this has 100 milligrams so in the whole packaging. So that should fit within the rules. But it doesn't because each piece needs to be 10 milligrams or less. Smoking marijuana is off limits in restaurants, bars, and most public areas. And unless your landlord approves, you may not even be able to smoke it in your apartment. Some local governments are banning pot shops entirely. Others are still working out the legal details. Los Angeles is the largest city in the country to allow sales of recreational marijuana. But come January 1st, the general public will not be able to come into medical shops like this and buy it. In fact, the city won't even start taking retail applications until next week. Lori Ajax runs the California Bureau of Cannabis Control. It is going to take a while for these businesses to, to get up and running, but we're also asking people to be patient. California Highway Patrol officers are also bracing for legal pot, so they're getting the word out that smoking marijuana and driving is illegal. But did you know that smoking a joint can get you a DUI? Authorities expect to see an increase in cannabis-related crashes, just like other states where the drug is legal. If you can buy a drink or uh, buy a joint, you can also afford a Lyft, an Uber, a taxi. With